What, what is that? What is that? What is it? Oh, 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 the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! back with another soul lane play by play we're continuing the a to z series and today we'll be playing amusing pal we have a special build ready for this game i think it's gonna be pretty fun i've done something like this quite a few times actually in the past but we're gonna be going a protector of the jungle build and just trying to like max out not completely max out our stats but just get a lot of power and prots throughout our whole build so that by the time like we get to that late game we have our protector in the jungle and we're actually in the jungle hopefully we'll have like some insane numbers on the prots power health everything you know so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, sorry a bit of, for the bit of delay when it comes to the series. It's been a few days. Um, I was actually out of town. I think I told you guys that. Um, and then I just got back in. I started getting some COVID symptoms. Luckily, I tested yesterday and I was negative, but I'm probably going to test again today or tomorrow. And uh, that's part of the reason I haven't been streaming since I've been back. Um, I've just been kind of getting unlucky lately. I don't know if I told you guys on YouTube as well, but a few weeks ago I got some really bad food poisoning. I had to go to the hospital, and it was the first time I've been to the hospital, I think, since I was like a little kid. But uh it was horrible. I couldn't hold down water or anything. It felt so bad. Probably the worst I've ever felt in my life. But anyway, that's behind us. Although, <laughs> like I said, I'm still feeling a little sick right now. But regardless, we are uh, we're getting into it. I'm actually excited to play this AMC game out. And uh, hopefully we can get to that late game stage and figure out how this, this build feels. This is actually sometimes when I off roll and ranked and I'm playing ADC, I play AMC. Bars. I play AMC and I uh, I do this build. I go like kind of tanky, go shifters and stuff, and it's pretty fun because people will try and kill you, they'll try and dive you in these ranked games, but they won't realize that you're actually pretty tanky and you still do a lot of damage, especially if you go oboe in ADC. As you can see, I kind of mapped out the build already. Um, I'm not gonna be going oboe because I'm trying to be more of like a, a tanky frontliner, but being you know a little bit powerful. And uh, but yeah, when I played in ADC and I go oboe, I actually do a lot of damage regardless of being pretty tanky. So, but anyway, yeah. Um, also, when this video comes out, I believe the patch notes will be out for 9.5, and uh, I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video, but we will be talking about that in the near future. Near future, I'll be telling you guys my opinions on uh, on the the patch and everything, because I, I do have some opinions. I'm, I'm pretty passionate about how they're changing Smite. Um, I won't say whether I like it or not, though. Not not quite yet. Still got to test some stuff, of course, but um, yeah. Like I said, I'm still a little bit sick, so if I don't talk too much throughout this video, I apologize. Got some mucus in my throat. Thought you guys wanted to hear that. I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, Sharpie real quick, just because I have eye. Shouldn't take me too long to do, and I won't miss any minions. Make our way over to the lane. Let's check out the ping. Okay, got some good ping. Just going to hit two here. Freaking Vamana too. What a what a fun ability. It's literally you just click it, does cone damage, but it hits so hard. It's insane. So we gotta set up we gotta be a good B here and set up our hive network. So we'll start with one right there. It says enemies in the right jungle, so we do have a, a little ward on our Sharpie because of the eye of the jungle, so that's pretty funny. It's all missing and then call cancel that. I'm gonna be maxing my one. So I can get my hive network nice and strong. The one is insane when you max it. And since I'm not going to be going any attack speed in my build, really, uh, the attack speed that I'll get from that will carry me when it comes to auto trade. So, And of course, the HP 5 you get from it is pretty nice as well. Go ahead and put a point in the uh, 3 as well. Try and get your hives in some weird spots where they don't really want to go to. Now that totem's down especially, he probably doesn't want to walk over to that one. Actually hit him here since he's kind of just sitting in front of the wave and I got my abilities on the wave already. Look at that clear. He must have two points in his three. I want to make sure I don't miss out on these minions. Go and pop a health pot. I don't feel like I'm on those. Just to it. It should be back up for the next wave. He's pretty poked now. I'm going to try and get this vision shard down. He isn't doing a great job of killing my eyes right now, but he is in melee, so it's kind of difficult. It's a pretty strong start on Vamana. You do have a lot of power with that. Nice, he walked into my three. Get some free poke. Alright, a second point on our one. Feels good, man. <clears throat> Got a decent hive network in our lane. Don't even have to place one for this blue buff, which is nice. I know, I mean, we're doing A to Z, so I gotta play every character, and AMC's the next one up, but I know people are gonna complain about having to play against AMC solo in their games. I mean, people already play it. There's like masters level players that play it every game, like Sizzix. 
But uh, it is not fun to play against, that's for sure. I feel bad for this Vamana. To be fair, he's Vamana, so he doesn't have to worry too much. Vamana's a pretty safe lane character. Can't really mess him up too much. Hit him with that. I, you gotta have AMC's 3 on Instacast, his honey. It's a necessity. It feels so much better on Instacast. You're able to just flick it so much easier and everything. Go ahead and do this, Sharpie. Hopefully this Shiva doesn't come over here. Shiva's actually really good in AMC. Doesn't really get owned too hard by the cripple. Can kind of just dance on you and run at you. Can maybe kill here. Is he going to try and dash through me? He is. Oh, you got to hit those. Got to hit those. Yeah, I've been out of town, okay? I'm rusty. That's my excuse for the, the day. If I miss anything. For the rest of the game. Okay. I'm just going to walk away because I have really big movement speed. Pop another health pot. Oh, that's his ult. Let me ult it down. Just gonna not hit him. Gonna let him clear the wave and then I'll hit him afterward. Nice. With the pots I have going, plus the HP 5 for my my one, I am healing up real fast. We did go the teleport just because the, the build is really greedy. So whenever I'm going like one of these builds, I like to uh, build teleport so I can actually like, you know, just be greedy with like staying in lane and everything like that. Plus, if I have my Hive maxed, I'm actually pretty safe. Or might look for an ult here. Oh, no, he doesn't have it. He can still maybe kill. Oh, he's getting ganked by their Shiva. Oh, is he? oh, he got his dash. Oh, no. I just got a full wave on me, brother. The Shiva tried to blink. <laughs> oh, no. Poor guy. I mean, <laughs> I just had six minions hitting me. Sorry, buddy. Is uh, Mr. Shiva going to go for my blue? He is going to go for it. He might just get it. He actually got it. That's insane. Did he get it with like an auto or something? I want to grab my stinger, but they're kind of going on me. This guy does have blink, the Shiva, so. Unfortunate. I couldn't grab my stinger. They didn't let me. No problem. We're scaling. We do have a transcendence as well, so our mana problems have been solved. However, I do want to. Uh... Oh, he's got his berserker. He's already TP back in. We have totem for now, so we're fine. Oh, I didn't hit my. <laughs> I barely didn't hit my hive range. Obviously, you can activate your uh, your honey with your two as well. So whenever you like early game, like I was two, throwing the wave, it's pretty easy to uh, just kind of full clear because it activates activates your honey. So. Which we'll apply your bees. We got the transcendence. We got the chalice. And we got another point in our hive. Even good. This matchup's actually not too great just because he can run me down really easily. And if he goes into his ult after I hit my ability on him, then his ult will get extended big time because obviously the the damage over time from hives or from your uh, bees. That movement speed though. And I'm still in my hives, so I don't care. We'll put another one down right here. Look at that healing. I don't even have an HP go or uh, pot going, and I'm 10 per second. That's pretty strong. And it's really insane when you have transcendence and you 2-3 uh, the wave with no points on your those abilities. You just full clear. Some good poke. I don't. Oh, did Thor just blink ult? What a psychopath, dude. We're not going to kill this guy. He's got Berserker's proc now, and he's Vamana in his ult. That's fine to get his ult, though. There we go. We got the Mori, Mori Invis, because we heard it. I guess they want to go for my blue. I'm going to start rotating now. I pushed the wave a little bit. Are they actually trying to go for this? I was going to 3 that, but it hit the wall. Their team is here. Trying to go for my Thor. I'm going to try and help them if they do go for it. It's just a couple minions that I lost. Okay. I might be dead here. I'm gonna try and run away with my movement speed. I actually should be good. What are you doing, buddy? Nice job. I guess I could stay. I'll heal a lot with my chalice plus my hive, so. The movement speed and the HP 5 I just got there definitely saved me. No way he's zoning. No shot he's zoning. Okay, he's just waiting for his ability to come up. I'm just gonna hide a little bit here so I can let him push the wave and then I'll be able to stay for the next one as well, probably. Auto too, so I don't lose that to tower. I might sound a little, sound a little nasally as well. 
Just a little congested, you know. Hopefully I don't have COVID. I mean, I tested negative, but you never know. When I test again, hopefully uh, it isn't positive. This would be my third time having it. <laughs> and I used to think I had a pretty strong immune system, but the past few years have proven otherwise, I suppose. So I'm running back right here. Don't have all my hives through my lane, but that's okay. I got him here. We'll get back to lane pretty fast. We're going to make it to the wave anyway. Whenever you have these like jungle starter items, you got to try and make sure that you, you know, you utilize them by like doing the back camps and stuff whenever you can because you just do them so fast. It's good to get those on cooldown. Even if you're taking them from your jungler. Shiba's walking over here, so we got to be a little bit careful. Maybe I can steal the uh, smalls here. I say steal. They are my back camps, but I just mean if he was on them. I got a Vamana Ward here. They may try and go for me. The good news is that they don't have a lot of like guaranteed CC to just like keep me locked down. I mean, Shiba obviously has the instant knockups and stuff. That helps, but um, they can't like chase me down that hard just because I'm so fast in my hives. He's uh, trying to take my blue here, but I have pretty good secure with I. I mean, look at that. I do it so fast. He, he was trying to hide around the corner to even contest, but I just do it so fast he couldn't even walk up to it in time. Actually got a pretty close games here. Make sure I hit some autos. This guy's a psychopath. I could force his ult here with my ult. Probably worth. There it is. I'm just going to grab my stinger and try and walk away. We are going to be good. Nice. That's worth for me because my cooldown on my stinger is a lot shorter. Ooh, didn't quite hit him with that. What an insane ability. Now that the shreds prots as well, like... You can just get it back if you pick it up. That should full clear. Even if it doesn't full clear, since you apply your passive to things on AMC, it's really easy to just walk away. Because you'll still get credit. I'm just going to do the scorpion because I have eye, so I do it pretty fast. I do have my shifters now. If you notice, like, a lot of these items, like, shifters especially, that gives me power and pro, and it gives me a lot of both. So, like... It's just really nice for uh, this build. I'm trying to go. The synergy is quite nice. He has no ult now. Oh, okay. He went Katana. That makes their chase down potential a lot better for sure. I'm just going to back and get my shifters though. I'm going to go beads. They have quite a lot of CC I will need to be worried about. Even though I'm going to be pretty dang tanky. I'm so fast. I can do it from there. Our window is quickly closing on Vamana ult being down and our ult being up. The Berserker's passive just came in clutch for him. Oh, okay, that's his ult. That's good. Good to force that. Kind of don't want to hit him. I might be able to kill my ult's about to be back up. Trying beads to get away from that. If he has no ult, I'm good. Nice. Oh, shoot. Here comes the Mori ult. He's turned into a Thor. No way I'm going to live this. I should not have lived that. I was trying to juke the Thorolt. Let's go. Imagine I have my Urchin here. That'd be some Urchin stacks for me. Good good job on my team to rotate to this. Help me out. Make sure I hit my hunt, my Hive there so I can actually apply my bees. My attack speed's so slow when I'm not in my Hive. I'll do the back camps real quick while my people fighting right. Just get these on cooldown. Alright, time to back. Ended up being pretty good for us. I was... Yeah, we can do that. I was a little bit worried about using my beads there. Might have been a waste, but ended up paying off big time. Because if Shiva had ult, I was just dead there regardless. So I gambled and it paid off. Nice. Unfortunate our honor just got solo, but that's okay. I actually need one more wave for tier 2 urchin. That's pretty good. Tier 2 urchin's pretty strong, so I'm going to stay for that. Especially because I'm healing so much. Don't forget the eye of the jungle HP 5. You get a lot of healing when you're in the jungle. I can just do that and walk away. And waddle away. Waddle, waddle our B butt away. Look at this. Tier 2 Urchin, 25 each brown, 125 mana, 125 health. That's pretty good. I haven't placed these freaking wards. I should actually be doing that. To be fair, I got little mini wards. My hives. We got Pyro out of base, so we're very fast. And Totem, and our 
five movement speed, and that is just... It's also... It DR is pretty hard, though, just because we have so much movement speed. Do these little smalls on the way. Like I said, whenever you have a jungle starter item, just kind of want to do those when you can. Paint a little line on the wave with our honey. Make sure you keep doing the Sharpie on cooldown as well, just because, look at this, one shot it, go back to lane. That's 27 gold and a bit of XP. That adds up real fast. Poke him. He can run me down pretty hard with Katana, uh, Breastplate Tier 2. Breastplate Tier 2 is a really strong power spike in general, but it's very good on the mana just because it gives him some power too. No beads here. Nobody's around though because uh, Shiva's in left. I saw four people, so... Unless it was Morgan Decoy and somehow she got over here. What did this guy end up going? So he did go blink. I'm gonna go ahead and back here since my wave is cleared and I can get my urchin. I wanna get that ASAP. I can maybe rotate to this fight as well. Still haven't placed these wards, by the way. On my way. I could maybe rotate to this fight, get a couple urchin stacks. That would be ideal. Let's see if we can. Oh, let me be a part of the Shiva kill. If there is one. Saved on her! Unfortunate. He did die, but I got an urchin stack. Can maybe chase some people on her Mori invis just now. My beads are up, so. Imagine if you got an urge attack for Mori decoy dying. I have TP, so I, I don't need to worry too much about my tower. We'll just go ahead and get this back in TP, right? Got an urchin stack there, so that is big time. People might be wondering why I'm going catch shield. It's mainly just for the base stats. I mean, it does help me a little bit with my hive healing and like. You know, my Chalice, and if my people on my team go Lifesteal, it can help with that. Cat Shield's just kind of a good base stat item in general. Although they have been nerfing it. I think it was recently nerfed because it doesn't quite have the same stats as it did before. 69 XP for killing those. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Call missing here. Finally going to place some wards, I guess. Even though these that board isn't really that useful anymore. It's more of a gank ward, and we're past that point, really. It's a close game, though. This is definitely a close, good game. Which is something you love to see. I'm just going to rotate here. I might lose my blue buff, but... Oh, he definitely heard you, brother. Oh, no. Oh, what the... I hate when that happens. That is unfortunate. Definitely my fault, though. Give me that kill. Get my stinger back real fast. Oh, poor Agni. I mean, I guess we can fight this. Got my honey on him. Big honey. Oh, going Apollo. I don't let this guy just... Oh, my freaking honey was down for a second more. I'll stick with you, buddy. Don't worry. I mean, he could katana me. Wait, why did I get slowed? Oh, I might be dead now. That's unfortunate. Why did I get slowed there? Something slowed me. Also, why does the vomit, vomit ult last that long? I think maybe I put my... Did I get my bees on him on accident? That's what I was saying. It's not that great of a matchup, but... If I got my bees on him, that's definitely a bit unfortunate. But regardless, I got slowed by something. What was it? Did his umbra Oh, did his three come back and hit me once or something? It must have. Maybe he hit me twice with it. I'm not actually sure. No, he hit me. Okay, no. He, I don't think he hit, hit me with that. That was the second time. I think that was the second time after he got out of his ult, he threed me. No problem. We still got a, a kill on the Kepri there, so we have two urchin stacks. So that's good. It's still a pretty close game. I think maybe if I stuck with my honor, I would have been fine, but I walked towards mid and then Mori would me. That's probably what killed me. Because she, then she transformed and killed me. Maybe could have stuck with my honor. Hey, three urchin stacks. Let's go. They killed the Mori and I got a, an assist for it. All right. Pretty good. We're well on our way to this this full build. Hopefully we can uh, actually get there. Even though the game is close, a lot of times there's just a... This is like a the point in the game where one team fight goes and then all of a sudden the game's over because you just can kill everything on the map. But don't worry, that's that's being changed. As you guys probably know from reading patch notes. 
since they should be out. I am recording this before the passenger show, but obviously I do know about the changes because we've been playing on a, a private server, okay. testing the changes and stuff because we're going to be playing on that patch for the Masters Tournament. Got a Thoral. He's in the air. Just landed back in mid, okay. Make sure I still push my waves. I want to make sure I get to level 20. Oh, they're just trying to pull the pyro. I'll get a wave under tower here, which is good. I'm coming to the fight, boys. They have a pretty tanky team comp, especially because Mori can transform into a tank. They may not notice that I'm pretty tanky, though, so that's one benefit. Like I said before, people just go on you and thinking you're squishy, but you're not. Got that whole wave in her tower, got a lot of damage on it, so that's good. It's at the point in the game where that's really not that big of a deal. Probably losing tower is just inevitable at this point, but losing the farm is good. Gotta be careful of him running us down with uh, Katana. He's on my Sharpie, no problem. Unfortunately, I got gold. Then three there. My TP is back up. I'm pretty close to level 20 here, so... I'm gonna put a low ward just so um, we can see if Amana rotates that way. Yeah, nice. that's good. Force his ult pretty easily there. Since he doesn't have Frostbound, he actually can't really keep up with me in his regular form. I'll just move in speed and slow him. There's the level 20. Let's go ahead and get our Protector. I'm not going to TP if I don't have to, but if we like fight in mid or something... I'm just going to TP left. <laughs> Thought of it just now because Apollo is up. Let's see if he plays up here and on here. He maybe saw my TP. My wave is pushing right, so... Ooh. We can fight, and if Amana rotates, he has no ult. So, nice little power play. 192 Fist Prawn, 125 Magical here. Do they have Capri ult on him? Yeah. No. Turn on the Apollo since he landed behind us. Nice. Pick up my Stinger here. I should be good. Don't need to beat that. Oh, that's unfortunate. I have my Stinger coming back up. We can play aggro here. He's gonna die to bees. That's his Aegis. Okay. Won't be able to get my ult, but Aegis down on Mori. Maybe pressure this as well. I'm gonna put my Hive over here so he can't see. Oh my gosh, you rock. What a freaking Pillar Impale. This guy's ult is coming back up because he has Breastplate. Could maybe go fire here. Five urchin stacks. Let's go. I have a sentry for it, so. Probably just do pyro for now. We do it pretty fast, so. Look at this stat. <laughs> Look at my stats, man. So sick. 254 fizz, 188 magical. Probably don't want to go full fire here. We'll just chill a little bit. Get my glad shield online, do buffs. End up losing my towers, so I lost lane. GG. That's all that matters. Yo, Bacchus, why'd you jump in? I'm just gonna back you my cat shield. Grab another warden. Alright, let's get in the jungle. Check out the stats with cat shield. Don't even have Thebes yet. 232, 138, 305 power. I auto for almost 400. Oh, baby. I don't have a ton of health, but Thebes will help with that because that gives you 300, right? It's pretty good. Ward here. They're kind of just pushing mid right now. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Rusty, like I said. We'll just clear that and run. Guess I'm not going to get those minions. If I don't three it. Oh my gosh, he killed... Wait, what? They live 1 each 7 or 7 HP is what they had. It's just a pretty close game. I have faith in our team fight, though. 
They're kind of more of a pick comp with their their characters. Especially Shiva, he falls off. We can just cripple this guy and force his ult, or just kill him. Nice. ADCs are balanced, aren't they? We can just maybe do fire now. Mainly want to set up an ambush here, though. Don't want to just probably just full do it. Can box his tank. I mean, we maybe can just full do it. We do a lot of damage. Oh, no. We can let him land and kill him. No way he got that. We shouldn't have kept DP, uh, DPSing it. Should have dropped it. He might just get this before I get there. No way you're going to ult out. He's so afraid to 1v1 me. I have a fully stacked urchin now. That's very unfortunate that they got that. We should have slowed down our DPS. We got it to like 1500, which is definitely in steel range for a Thor ulting in. One Mori ulting into Thor, ulting in. I'm just going to push out left now. My team's fighting in right, but maybe they don't win that because they have fire and they're going to out sustain us. If we just waited right when Thor lands, we can just uh, hit him, kill him really fast, and then we get fire. But since we got it to a point where they can actually just steal it, that was uh, was bad about that. Stay in range of my hive here. This carries my attack speed. Probably can't go tier two. I'm just gonna do this purple and back up. Oops. Should be just fine here, even if that Kepri chases. Getting close to Thieves. I'm gonna greet it. I'm sorry, team. I'm the greediest person on the map. Oh, maybe I'm gonna take green here. My pro my freaking stats are gonna be insane. <laughs> Look at the stats. 240 Fizz, 144 Magical. That's without having an aura item near me. Oh my gosh, that damage. I'm just trying to do like one more camp so I can, or wave so I can get my Thebes. I don't know if we defend that. Sorry on her. All right, there's my item. I'm full build, let's go. Excuse me, I just sneezed. Get some thank, or not thank you, some, some bless yous in the chat, in the comments, <laughs> down below. All right, now we need to get this Thebes stacked up. Get this Thebes stacked up. It's gonna be absolutely mad tobe. I actually maybe can get some stacks here. I just need to make sure I don't last him. I just need to get him to, oh, okay. As I say that. I need to get them to one HP. So then my minions will get him. I think if I two, three this, it won't fully kill it. Oh, maybe it will. Nice. Some Thebes stacks. Got nine of those suckers. Oh no, what are they doing? Why was Thor there? Get out, boys. We're not defending any of this. Especially without me there. I gotta push out the le left ways. I heard a Mori invis, so be careful. Mori is definitely around. Why is that guy? Oh, that was his beads. We can maybe just kill that guy. Referring to the Vamana, of course. Oh, I'm trying to honey for you, Magni. We can't be dying here. No way would they just win. No, we do a lot of damage. We got this. Oh, he missed. I saw my beads anyway. Got my freaking hive, man. Get in there, Thor. They definitely could have ended. Oh, they're going to be able to end. That is so unfortunate. Didn't quite get to the uh, the full, full build. And uh, it's actually, it's actually kind of lame that we lose off that. Um, just because kind of died at the tier two and then... They didn't even really like run it down that hard.
But I guess that's something that's being fixed in the patch notes. But that was still a fun game and still got to witness the the beauty of the stats. Maybe not quite in its full glory because we didn't get the full Thebes, but still either way. Pretty 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 fun build. Um to get the fully stack urchin, that's not something you see every day, so that's good. Uh but yeah, that was a fun game. That was AMC in A to Z. What do we have up next? Who's up next? Is it Opwash? Yes, it's Opwash. Opwash solo, such a classic. I think I think I'm gonna be going Boomba's Opwash. That's just so fun. I don't want to make this just a A to Z of playing every god with Boomba's, although it could be that, just because Boomba's is probably the most fun item in the game. But Opwash is definitely a character that warrants the Boomba's. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in the Opwash build, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Amuz and Cop gameplay. I do not condone you guys going and playing Amuz and Cop solo in uh, in games because I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one blamed for it. I'm gonna be the one blamed for it. So yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay safe and healthy as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.